Next is, next is from some guy. Subject is Tony Khan trying to prove Jim Cornette wrong. Hey, K100 crew, from the AW side, it seems like anything or anyone Jim Cornette approves of in AW won't get a push. Example, once the guns were approved by Jim, they went downhill after their title run. I won't keep going about the talent washed, about the talent wasted. But my question is, should Tony Khan stop spending so much time on social media? I don't think he's doing him any favors and he's reacting to the wrong stuff while he has talent with great potential and isn't using them the right way. Love the show. Keep up the real 100. I mean, th- it seems like this guy spends an inordinate amount of time on social media. You know, especially for a guy that has three jobs and has to write three shows. Like, I don't know how, I honestly do not know how he manages his time. You know? You got a comment on that? Because half of his job is, yeah, because yeah, cause half of his job is reading to see what people are saying about him. Right. That's, that, like right. That, that, interest, that interests him a lot. Bro, right. when, he, when he learns that that cannot be any determining factor in what you're going to do except for like business. Right. You're going to, you're going to, be a lot stress free. You're, you're getting hammered. You're getting hammered right now, and you're going to continue to get hammered. What? Remember, Vince McMahon would have Howard Finkel would keep up on all that stuff. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wasn't right. interested in it. He said to Howard right. Finkel would, would come and tell him if there was anything relevant that he should know that was happening in WCW or social media or anything. You know. So right. Well, remember, he does, only I, does it himself. Yeah. So. Right. Uh, yeah. And I think I think I sent you guys this. Remember that. Tony mentioned that he utilizes the cage match site to right. determine Did you hear this, how Cody? the shows are. Did you hear this? Something about what yeah, one, who's cage he, match? He, First he, of all, who's cage he, match? It's just a wrestling site with wrestler match history and titles. And it's like a biography site for all the wrestlers, all of them. And then it rates right. shows. So basically, you click on a rating like you but would on But is it a big IMDb. site it's or like no? a Rod Tomatoes for, uh, for, for wrestling. Yes. It's okay, really so good. it's a pretty big it's, site. It's good for right. research. Yeah, yeah, I can right. always find something there. But he's Tony said, uh, we recently we've had some of our best shows we've ever done. And this year, if you look at 2023, and just to use as an example, you can look at fan feedback from different shows. One site that measures that is Cage Match. Look at the top 100 shows this year. Look at how many of them are from AEW. And if you throw the version of Art Ring of Honor in there too, you get some more, but it's pretty incredible. And the top 100 shows that I've had over 50 votes, top 100 shows even more so that I have over 100 votes. Look at these and look at how many of them happened in 2023 from AEW or a couple more from Ring of Honor. And that speaks pretty highly, I thought, but much more. <laughs> so I would talk TV ratings. Think, think about that. Bro, he's literally like, like, like the, that's like basically saying, okay, I don't care if we're losing money. Dave Meltzer likes our matches. And we really, you should really look at that. That's what he's and telling well, everybody. This here. is this you is know? what I would also say is that <laughs> I would also think so. You've got all these great matches, the best 100 matches of the year. Okay, you had the most of those. How do you correlate that into making money? Right. Because the other side who didn't have the greatest match of the year made a ton more money. That's, so that's right. not the end all and be all, bro. Just giving great matches for you and the super super niche. Super Mark, I love wrestling. Good wrestling work rate. It's not as big as you think. Yeah. Um, now, if would you guys be because like Conan said, yeah, it's or Disco. It is like Rotten Tomatoes. People will come in and rate matches and rate performers. Would you guys like to know how you rank on Cage Match? Um, okay. Sure, why not? Because I know, I know, that's it. I know these marks don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think your yeah. a lot of your ratings are personal and not. Yeah, but right. Conan. Uh, is currently rated as a 6.43 out of 10. And Disco, you are a 5.12 out of 10 right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that doesn't bother me at all. Um, I well, I, I, I quote tweeted Dave because Dave was talking about how, you know, you could learn. Like, Joe, try to find that tweet. I think it's from like a week ago. Okay. Um, uh, Cause I, I just, just find it. We'll come back and we'll circle back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Find the tweet. I tweet. I quote tweeted back. Dave, <laughs> and um, okay, because he said something very similar to that, and I and I I tweet almost uh, that. Joe it sounds like you read the tweet because that's what you just said. Next is from Adrian Orloff. Something Sabu. Howdy crew. Seven year plus Patreon Ooh. member here, and wishing you all the very best for the holiday season. I know we don't take requests, but I was hoping as part of the holiday spirit, we can hear Disco's version of Sabu's entrance music. I'm willing to risk a yellow card in order to hear this. Thanks, and that's from Adrian. I, will, I don't take requests. <laughs> <laughs> I might do it at the, on the outro, though, as a special uh, surprise. I can't, I can't take the – I cannot do it in this email because I would be honoring the request. All right? And we right. don't do that on the show, right? Okay. This rate right, is this the one here? Let's go. 
Let me see. What's it say? We have a four year. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but yeah, okay. But read what Dave says. Because they're talking about the, everybody's getting on Tony about the cage, bringing up the cage match ratings, right? So what does he say so, here? Okay, so the guy, this guy, Juice Springsteen, said, "Imagine Bischoff citing the Observer star ratings as a reference for booking shows in WCW." I can't believe Tony Khan would openly admit this, even if true. To be fair, TK is really trying to book AEW for the fans, good or bad. And Dave responds, "What's funny is this shows how out of touch former wrestling people are to the real world. Always look at a simi similar subject, such as movies or TV." I've talked to people in the movie business for years, and they reference scores by critics as well as fan base reaction scores all the time. Dwayne Johnson always referenced uh, exit polling audiences' scores in his movies. TV people obviously look to ratings as well as how uh, as well as how it fares with critics and audiences. Okay, and then show my my tweet that I quote tweeted. Go go to the yeah. And okay. Disco said, okay, so we have a four-year sample period where the match ratings of one company significantly outperform the match ratings of the other. But the one with the lower match ratings significantly outperformed the other company in attendance, TV ratings, and revenue. Correct, right? Yeah, so what we kind of said you? the same thing. Yeah, oh, you right. said right. You, 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 brought, <laughs> you were thinking the exact same thing. Yeah. Right. I was thinking that's like, dude, right. as you talk about, that's my whole point. It's like where yeah, is AEW failing? Back to that? No, he didn't. But of course, <laughs> all the AEW fans, and a lot of people agree with me. It's only fifty-fifty. But but the, the the point being there is, it's like if they're scoring so high in all all your metrics, why are they why are they still losing money? It's like either your scores, your ratings of their matches are inaccurate, or, like I said, that doesn't really equate to business match ratings. And it doesn't because I've always said the dimes are drawn before the match takes place. You got to I mean, the, the, the people are paying to watch characters build to a feud and have a match. It doesn't really matter how good the match is if the if the match drew. Like the promoter, you you want a good match, but if the match was. But you made you, you had a full house. Is the is the promoter upset about that? Like like Probably promoters, not, no. people running wrestling shows don't want to have half full houses with great matches. They want the place to be packed and make a lot of money. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That's, but unfortunately, yeah. when a guy's a billionaire, and, and, but let me just tell you. But let me just tell you something. Even though he isn't because it's packed, that's the one time a year. Or one of the very few times a year where you're going to have a chance to do things that are going to stick in people's minds. And that's where you want to do it in front of your biggest audience of the year. You know what I'm saying? All right. This is an interesting So word. they come Simple. back. Yeah. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!